We seem to be a little bit stuck. I'm Economicon, and we've had an elevator hitch. You walk inside the lobby. It's busy. There's a receptionist desk, but they're on the phone. They shoot you away before you can ask anything. It's a normal amount of people to be here. It's not a weekend, but it still feels crowded. They all seem to know where they're going. You're a soon-to-be employee here. You have somewhere to be, too. It's easy to get lost here. Your interview's not on the first floor. You know that, at least. You know, that's not very reassuring. Do we have any more information than not on the first floor? The elevator doesn't have anyone inside when it opens for you. Well, it's time to enter. You step inside and click the button for the... Hold the door! Ooh, bit of a squished foot there? Uh, um, as I was saying, you step inside and... Traffic was awful today, am I right? Taxi barely made it on time. Not like the boss will take that excuse again. I'm... kind of trying to open the scene. Top floor? Um, I'm actually going to see... You too? What a coincidence! Oh, God. Don't think I've seen you around before. Who are you? So we can introduce ourselves, we can announce that we're the new guy, or demand to know who you are. You know, it feels kind of rude to answer a question with a question. And saying our name isn't going to mean anything to him, right? So why don't we just say we're the new guy? I'm the new guy. I'm here for an interview with... Oh, so you're new, new. I get ya. I've been here for ages. You won't have to worry at all as long as I'm here. Oh. Aw, oh, thank you. I mean, you probably don't mean it, but that is still kind of sweet. You know what? Who are you, then? Oh, wait. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, does it? Oh, I don't think he's that rude, right? Maybe just a bit self-centered? I'm still gonna ask who he is. The name's Bryce Straker. But you can call me Bryce Straker. Full-time employee of the month, mountaineer of the corporate ladder, company expert, agency firm specialist. None of that was specific enough to signify anything. And part-time stock trader. There it is. Okay. Do you know what? I still don't want to be too rude to him because he doesn't seem harmful, right? Let's just introduce ourselves then. My name's... The name's Chase Beckley. Make sure you remember- Wait, what? How have you just changed your name within a minute? Nothing more annoying than someone who won't take the time to learn your name, right? I mean, right, but which name do you want me to learn? Chase or Striker? Maybe I should just mix the names together. Now you're just Chase, Chase Striker to me, okay? Right. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, does it? Hmm? Sorry, I didn't catch all that. Whatever who says doesn't matter to me. Never mind. You know what? I like him. Okay, so have we got any more hints on what floor we're actually trying to get to? Or should I just start pressing buttons randomly? Um, was that supposed to happen? That doesn't usually happen, right? Why are you asking me? You think I know every office-related problem? Well, I was kind of assuming you've used this elevator before. I guess not. Um, what button should we press then? Ah, uh, the buttons still... Oh, they do. Okay, so we know our interview is definitely not on floor one. So, shall we just pick a random number? I say go for floor six. Oh, it's moving. Perfect. I guess the... Oh. I mean, it's a little bit concerning. Does anyone want to take a step into the void? Oh, never mind, it's no void. Um, I mean, there's a party hat. Maybe we should go explore? This isn't the floor I need to get to, but there may be something we can use to safely get out of here on this floor. We should check this floor for anything useful. Good idea. I was about to say the exact thing. Well, I suppose great minds and all. So, 
Do you want to step out and check it out? Wait, you want me to go? I'm more of an ideas man. Sorry, pal. But it was my idea. Maybe you can head out while I stand guard in here. Why do I get the feeling if I let you stand guard and those doors close, you are not going to hold them for me? Make sure nothing bad happens while you're doing the easy work. But what if it's dangerous? I'm sure you'll think of something. You're the ideas man after all. Uh, wait, let's throw one of your shoes to make sure it's safe. I mean, that sounds like a smart thing to do. Also a very cube thing to do. Am I in a cube kind of situation? Is there likely to be lasers as soon as we step outside? Do you know what? Just because you gave me the offer, throw a shoe. One of my what? Do you even realize how ridiculous that request is? Uh, apparently not. Then let me explain it to you. These are our ghosty Kuth 73. Oh, oh, we can throw a shoe regardless. I think we need to at this point. Hey, hey, hey! I mean, he's probably gonna chase after the shoe, right? The shoe lies unharmed. Count yourself lucky. Okay, exit the floor. I mean, if we say no, do we just leave the shoe behind? I'll be good and leave. Are uh, all the cubicles this small? I wouldn't know. I had an impressive enough first interview to get an office to myself. Does anyone else get the impression that he's just lying? Like, none of what he said to us so far has been truth, including both versions of his name. Would you happen to be related to any of the CEOs? Don't you know? Oh, okay, no, that's actually the more accurate explanation. Nepotism. Lucky guess. Okay, so, can I take a party hat? A prop computer. Doesn't seem to work. In fact, it seems to be made of cardboard. That is rather concerning. Is the phone at least real? An office phone. Dial a number. I mean, I would say yes, but I don't know any numbers to dial. I mean, we could try um, 911, maybe. Oh, we want six digits. Um, I, I don't have six digits to give you. I can, I can give you a lot of random numbers. hung up. Seems like you dialed the wrong number. Yeah, that's not surprising. Oh, to be fair, I'm surprised it connected to begin with. How about the drawers then? Going through someone else's drawers is pretty rude. Open drawers? Listen, this is a desperate situation where I'm trying to get to my interview. Oh, job application. You found a job application questionnaire. One. What is the strongest attribute of a great employee? A. Ambition B. Morality C. Functional left kidney D. Reliability While well, everyone knows the correct answer is C. You need to have a functional left kidney. The right one doesn't really matter, it's the left one specifically where all the workload comes from. 2. What is the second stage of grief? A. Anger B. Bargaining C. Confusion Or D. Depression uh, I can't actually remember what order it goes in. I mean, I know all of them are part of the stages of grief. I feel like... Anger is the second one? How long do you spend nuclear... Oh, spent nuclear full rods remain radioactive. A long, long time. A hundred thousand years. And four is redacted, so just pick a number. We're gonna pick B. Two, three. I feel... Oh, oh, I can fill it out. Sure, why not? I've already picked my answers anyway. We'll fill it out. Question one. Okay, so everyone knows the strongest attribute is the functional left kidney. It's the only one that truly matters. And the second stage grief, we have decided on being anger. Everyone is just very angry with grief. Um, I'm still sticking my 100,000 years. Everything is very radioactive. I mean, isn't like radioactive like about like half-lives and stuff? And doesn't like the half-life also get a half-life? I, I might remember my science class wrong. Okay, so we'll just put 100,000 years. And then we shall pick B, two three. I like two thirds. Does anyone else get the feeling that I'm probably gonna fail this quiz? 
I regret nothing. You put the finished form back in the drawers. It's fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Are you saying the drawers are greeting my quiz? You hear something rattling inside. When you open it again to check, you notice... No, I've been rejected! The paper tore itself in half. Please tell me, I at least didn't put my name attached to it. Um... But, um... Wait, hold on! Did I also just get torn in half? Oh, well I found ending six. I was rejected. Oh! Wait, so coming back into it has changed? What the hell was that? Hmm? That... that thing! Did you not? What? Do you mean... Are you really that scared by the flickering lights? No, it's... Yeesh! The newbies just get sadder every year. What? Do you need to hold my hand or something? No! It's just... Um... I mean... He's got no reason to believe us, right? I mean, we don't exactly know each other. We'll just apologise. Exactly. That's the spirit. He's being way too optimistic about that. Okay, then. Um, shall we try a different floor? I feel like we should try a different floor. Let's try three instead. Okay, so what's waiting for us this time? Wait, is the actual abyss? Take a step. I dare you to take a step. The elevator feels weirdly humid. Come on, I dare you to take a step outside. My glasses started fogging up when looking too close. Why can't I see anything? I dare you to step outside. You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Yes, please step in, I dare us. You step in. Oh, and it sounds like I immediately got squished. Oh, ending 3A. I found the dark. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of assumed I was immediately about to die. I regret nothing. I think I just died. Oh, did you? I must have been looking away. Um, I mean, I don't think it's him not remembering. I just don't think he has. I also don't actually believe he's an employee here. I think he's here just to watch me die multiple, multiple times. Why should I? You look more than fine to me. Sounds like you're just looking for an easy excuse. Never mind. Okay, what floor should we go for this time? I mean, or we could just ignore the floors and just try the emergency button. Why not? I call help button. Try calling for help. I feel like it's worth a shot. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Hello? This is Manuel speaking, the building maintenance and safety head. What can I help you with? Oh, thank God, yes. We're stuck in one of the elevators. Can you help us get the doors open? Uh, um... Are you still there? What can I help you with? We're stuck in the elevator. Yes, I can send help with that. Our safety team is on its way. Make sure not to stand too close to the walls. If someone is injured, do not look at them. And finally, don't press X and we'll be there to assist you within the next 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Did you hang... Thank you for calling the building maintenance and safety head. Goodbye. I'm about to be murdered, aren't you? I love you. What? What did he say? The call clicks off. I mean, you said to about person X, right? You know what? I'm just gonna let the time go down. Let, let him come get me. Um, should I be concerned? I mean, he did say something about not looking at someone if they were injured. I mean, why? This is awkward. I'm gonna let the time go. I'll press X next time. So, was the I love you in the script? 
It sounded like everything he was saying was scripted before that bit. Help has arrived. The elevator door finally opens. You heard that too. I couldn't tell either. I sorry about that. Thank you so much for coming so quickly. <laughs> oh, damn! Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. It just seemed really out of left field. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting you to shoot me as well. You know, next time we should probably press X. God damn. Why, why did you have to shoot me? I wasn't injured. I mean, I could understand shooting the other guy. He was a bit annoying, but still. I know. Every office-related problem, yeah, yeah, I get the gimmick. No, seriously, I think I'm dying. Really? How long have you been working here? People don't usually start saying that until at least a few months in. Are you not at all concerned with the fact that you just got your head shut off? So actually, I wonder if the call help button changes if we press X. I mean, it specifically tells me not to do it, right? Um, okay, so we're gonna test this. Yes, hello, Manuel. I know that you're on your way to come shoot me. So you guys come get me. I'll press X and let's see if we can actually change our ending. Okay, so yeah, avoid the walls. Um, I say we need to hide by the doors, though. I still want to know why you said I love me, though, if you're going to shoot me anyway. Okay. Actually, this is taking forever. I don't think they're coming. Oh, wait, so it just cancels it in entirely? Oh, okay then. A keyhole with the word lobby written above it. You are currently on... Oh, I guess, um, when we're going, we don't need a floor number. You know, the issue with jumping between the different floors, I'm going to forget which ones I've already been to. So we should probably work on trying to be in order. So I've done three and six so far. So we'll do four and five, just to fill in the gaps. Oh, we get music this time. Do, do the doors not open? Huh? It's not opening. Huh? I'm not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right behind our noses. You mean under? That's what I said. Huh. Um. Well. I don't know if there's anything else we can do here then. I guess we can just try another floor. Let's go to five. We get another abyss. Oh, nope, just in a flooded room. Huh, my mouth tastes funny. That's probably the fuel leaking from the um spent nuclear reactor, right? Wait, what's that say? A smudge writing on the walls. C A C E. Oh, they're the answers to the quiz, right? Your nose starts bleeding. I've been here too long. Oops. The back of your throat tastes like tin foil. I... I'm not feeling good. I think... We should... Oops. Ending five. Yeah, I died from radiation. But the good news is, we have the answers now, right? C-A-C-E. You know the ironic thing is, I got CNA correct. It was the kidney and then anger. It was just, what, years of radiation and the final question wrong? Okay, so I know we could go back to floor six and actually fill out the questionnaire yet now. But I kind of want to visit the rest of the floors first. And then we can start working out how to actually get the true ending. So I think first go to seven. Oh, I found the battery. Um, uh, anyone hungry? Ugh. It smells like roadkill in here. Something's definitely rotting. Yeah, that, that would be the meat. Do I need to go and cut open the bodies? 
Your co-worker casually rests a hand against the wall, while waiting for you. Ugh, it's disgusting in here. Could we hurry it up? Uh, uh, but His hand is now covered with blood. Seems there's blood coating everything in here. Uh, did you have to bite the blood on my shoulder? Screw you, buddy. I'm gonna dissect you instead. I'm gonna go back to keep being the lookout. You've been a real help. Good luck, buddy. He's wiping his hand on my suit. Okay, so... I do feel like we need to cut up the carcasses, but I don't feel like we have the tool for it. Maybe if when we go back and answer the quiz, right, that's where we get the scissors from. Because it would be office supplies, right? An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Uh, anything else I can interact with? Sharp looking hooks are dangling down from the ceiling. No, it doesn't seem like anything else important. Okay, can we go back? Let's try a different floor then. Let's go to eight. Wait, is this just a... Wait. Are there multiple versions of us roaming around this elevator? Like, from different attempts to escape? Is that why we look like we've been here for like two weeks? Is that... Ugh, why do I look like that? I mean... Hi, are you guys gonna kill me? I are you okay? You seem a little bit deranged. Who are you? This is my colleague, and I'm the newest employee here. It's nice meeting some friendly faces. D do you not recognize your own face? Huh? Who would you two be? Um, I feel like if we introduce ourselves, we're gonna get ourselves brutally murdered. So let's do it. I'm... The name's Clayton Cox. Don't wear it out. Well, it's great to meet you two. If I can ask, what's brought you both here? Um, I mean, exploring. Have you found anything then? Well... Oh, I just got an idea. Maybe we can stick with you guys and work together. Twice the eyes looking for outs. And let's be real between the two of us. It's not like these two morons are any help, right? Hey! So, what do you say? I mean, it sounds like a bad idea, so let's do it. Well, isn't that great? Uh... You wouldn't happen to know the weight limit for these things, right? No, I don't think so. Good. Just making sure. Wait, what? what? I told you they were going to be dangerous. Oh, stranger danger. Let's face it, we all saw that we were gonna get murdered by our own doppelgangers. So I think we've only got two and nine left to explore, then we've gone to every floor. Except one, right? We should probably check out one again. This button doesn't seem to work. Oh, so maybe nine is where we actually need to get to then. Um, okay, so it's just two and one now, right? We'll do two first, then go to one. Huh. We found a hole. Anyone else really curious about the hole? Because I am. Mainly the chair next to the hole. Ah, uh, something about this room feels awful. Like chewing on woods of cotton. Tell me about it. Who would pair heart of palm wall paint with beach dune carpeting? I'd argue there's more upsetting parts, but he's not wrong about the color choices here either. Okay, read the note. A sticky note stuck to the wall. Give it something alive. I mean, I have nothing to give it dead or alive, so it's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. It seems stuck to the floor. Damn it, I can't even feed the chair. What if I feed you a bud, um, striker? A hole in the wall. Put something in it. I mean, can, can we put striker inside? <laughs> no, we can't. 
Uh, weird. I said strike and not me! Well, I got fed to the hole. Okay, so try floor one, and then we'll go back to floor six and actually answer the questionnaire correctly. Oh, this puzzle doesn't seem to work. Okay, so floor one isn't an option either. That's fine. So floor six with the questionnaire, yes? All right, we've made it back. Would it be shallow to look for a cheat sheet of some kind? I mean, that's fine. We've already technically found it. We can do this now. Okay, so get the questionnaire. So yes, we have the answers. So it is functional left kidney anger. It's fair. 10,000 years was not that far off from the answer I picked. Okay, we can definitely fill this out. Okay, so the strongest tribute is still the functional left kidney. It's, it's really neat, I told you. That's where all of the workload comes from. And second stage is anger. And let's face it, anger follows more anger. Okay, so a spent nuclear fuel rods remain active for 10,000 years. That's three. And then finally, the answer is 1028. Is that current time? Okay, so five. You chose answer E. You put the finished form back in the drawers. I feel confident about this time. You hear something rattling inside. When you open it again to check, you notice the form has been replaced with something else. You know, I was kind of hoping for scissors. You received a crumbled note. Wait, so what was my note? 421. A crumbled note with a set of numbers hastily written on it. 921, 923. Oh, so that's the number we need to phone, right? So we can definitely phone them. Familiar enough. We currently by the phone. Okay, so yes. That, that was not what I meant to dial. Yeah, I, I definitely dialed wrong. Try again. Okay, yes, dial. So we're now. 921. 923. Click. You deserve a treat. I'll deliver it to you next time. I'll call. Make sure to come pick it up. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what else to do now. Um, I don't think there's anything else here we need, is there? A messy cigarette tray, covered with ash and burnt cigarettes scattered around it. Um, sure, I'll pick up a burnt cigarette. I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. You got a burnt cigarette. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for us here, is there? It seems stuck to the floor. Yeah, we can't really look through the drawers. I guess it's time to leave then. So do I need to die before I get whatever it is you wanted to give me? Um, maybe we could try seven again. Is that the one that didn't open to us? Oh no, actually this one did open. Oh, this was the beat, the meat battery, gotcha. Um. Which was the one that had the fuel rods? Was that... Five? Because there was one we could only stay in for like 10 seconds, right? Yeah, it was this one. Shouldn't be here for long. Okay, any... Mm, a warning? Nah, there's never really here. We can always try and go back to six, see if... It's just leaving the floor has changed or anything. I wonder if I can actually unflood that room, see if I can get upstairs. Now nah, I feel like I actually do need to get myself killed and then come back. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do for a different ending then. You know what, uh, I'll go get myself murdered in the uh, fuel rods, and then we'll come back in. Oh, 
okay. You hear the phone ringing from the distance. So yeah, definitely needed to um die and come back in. So let's go to six straight away. Okay, what you got for me? Oh, you got me cake. Oh, can I use the candle to actually see inside the dark room now? A sweet looking cake. Take it. I think we should. You took the cake. Thank you, I appreciate you. I'm gonna leave now. So yeah, I wonder if the candle can be used to help us see. I think it was three, right? Can I use the uh, candle on his? I didn't even get the chance to see what was inside. Oh, what killed me for that matter? Okay, so inventory, we've got the piece of cake with the candle, right? The sweet looking birthday cake. Can I use it? It's now giving me the option to. You can feel a warm breeze. Um, you know what, don't step in. It doesn't seem that we can actually use the candle from the cake. Um, where else do I need to go to then? I mean, I know I've got the cake now. I don't think we've actually found anyone that wants the cake, have we? Hmm. I mean, there was the door that didn't open. Was that on four? Yeah, this is the one that didn't open. Don't think there's anything to do that could help us here. You're currently on floor four. Hmm. So, burnt cigarette, crumbled note, piece of cake. I'm not entirely sure what do you do with any of these. Do you know what I'm curious about? Does my ending change if I throw any of those into the hole? I mean, I know it said it wanted it to be alive, which may be the birthday cake. I mean, the flame is alive, right? Right, I'm gonna try this. I don't, I feel like I might be stretching it a bit to count the flame as being alive, but it's worth an attempt, right? Uh, yep, try the birthday cake. No, this is just me getting dragged in again, isn't it? I fed you birthday cake. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even realize I could look around the elevator. I mean, that does make sense. I mean, it did say in the tutorial that you could turn the camera. Oh, I didn't even think to do this. Um, is there anything here I can interact with? No smoking sign. Make any progress? Oh. Oh, you got cigarettes. You're not supposed to be smoking in here, sir. Your co-worker is taking out a cigarette. I don't think you're allowed to be smoking that in here. Says so, who? So. Nobody important. Never mind. I mean... Wait, you had a lighter this entire time? Why didn't you use it to light up that broom that killed me? I mean, yeah. Why didn't you say you had a lighter? Why didn't you say you had a lighter? You never asked for one. Well, then, can I have that one? Are you kidding? This is a Sunhill Signature Brass Plating Lighter. I'm not going to let anyone play with it. Seems a bit much just for a cigar lighter. What else would you use it for? Um, please? Please, can I have it? I mean, please? <laughs> Turns out I had one too. Now, can I have a light? Sure thing. Just be careful with it. Oh! Wait, so all I need to do is show you an old cigarette that um, I'm not even going to smoke? I suppose that was one way to get the light. Uh, any other signs we can interact with? Oh, it's my ripped up application form. Wait, oh, with the, are these all my um death merits? So it's shows me everything that I've currently done. So that was getting killed by the please help core button, right? Bad application, radioactive. 
Um, that's Stranger Danger. Oh, that's cool. I will definitely need to keep my, um, come back here and check when we've got the rest of the posters. Any other signs here? Uh, seems like just a normal back wall. Oh, there does seem to be something behind this, though. Part of the wall was sewn up. I bet St. Sharp heard open this. I have nothing sharp. A vent. It's screwed in tight. You can hear something scratching from the inside. Wait, is there, like, an animal inside the vent? Can I use that to feed the hole? Okay, when we find a screwdriver, we are definitely coming back here. But, now, am I able to light up room... Is it three? I mean, I've got a lighter now. Surely I can actually illuminate the room. I didn't even get a chance to see what was inside. Or what killed me, for that matter. Uh, I mean, can I, can I use this? Please? You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Hell yeah, light it up. Oh, damn! I full on got eaten! Well, um, can I, can I take a tooth? My, what sharp teeth you have! Would you like some birthday cake? You're noticing shiny stuck in between the teeth. Pull it out. I mean, yes, but be quick so it doesn't chomp down. You took... I said be quick! Ending 3B. Well, we got eaten. Okay, so we definitely can't retrieve whatever's between the teeth with it in its current state, right? So maybe I can find something to, like, keep the jaws prized open, like some kind of bar. Um. Okay, so what do we need? We still need to somehow get the door to room 4 open. We need to find some scissors or something to cut open the carcasses in room... Was it 7? Maybe we've got the double gangers? I I don't know if actually our interaction would change now. Because we do hold memories from our previous deaths. So by the fact knowing we're going to die for them, it could change that interaction. It might be worth going there first then. Okay, because I'm just thinking there's got to be something on that floor for us to find. Um, It was 8, right? Yes, it was. Uh, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? I just wanted to check. Do you remember anything strange at all? Mm, no, not that I can recall. Why'd you ask? It's just... Never mind. Make sure to stay safe is all. Aww. Yeah, yeah. You know, the trick to negotiations is to crack the weaker one first. When they get desperate enough, then you throw them a bone by acting like you understand them. And you'll hook them up for sure. You sure? You don't remember anything? Remember what? Never mind. Um, well I get a feeling that the weaker one here is the one that's looking a bit shifty. Let's talk to our uh, buddy here. Can I speak with just him? <laughs> um, yeah. Go right ahead. So, um, how did you get here? They... We, um, we came inside, but when the doors closed behind us, we noticed there weren't any buttons on this side. So you just got stuck. I think. What he's trying to say is that we've been having some technical difficulties. But we're sure we can just hitch a ride with you two, right? I mean, let me ask a few more questions here. So, um, when did you get here? We, I... Well, who can say, really? It's been months! The doors haven't budged, the walls go on forever! There's no way out besides the door! They haven't opened since we got here! 
What? Shut it! You have to let us take your place. Please, we have to get out of here. Oh, push them further. Do you know what? Why not? What's the worst that can happen? We die again? How long have you been stuck here? I... How long? His wristwatch's batteries ran out months ago. We don't know. Is that all you have with you? Just that and some scissors that were left in here. We've got nothing. Nobody's come let us out. If you hand over the scissors and promise not to attack us, you can take our place. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I get it. Because even if we die here, we're going to restart with the scissors still, right? Sorry. Oh, we're just lying to you, that's all. Oh. Oh, I feel a little bit bad. You pressed the closed button before they could have the chance to come inside. No! No, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! They're trying their best to force open the door from the other side of the elevator. Wow. Uh huh? Nothing. I just didn't know you had that in you. That was cold blooded. They were going to replace us. Otherwise, you wouldn't get it. Nah, uh, I think I do. What? I mean, you didn't just brute force it or play dumb. You really pushed him to his limit. Got him to open up before taking what you needed. You'd make a great employee here, is all I'm saying. Wait, hold on. Is this going to turn out to all be my hiving test? Hi. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> what? You think I'm a part of this somehow too? Don't you trust me? No. Not at all, no. See? You got nothing to worry about. You're with the same me as always. He is not real. Oh, am I about to stab him? I mean, what kind of employee? He is not real. He was never real. He was never here to help. Oops. Maybe I should have trusted him. Oh no. Well, that's bad for us. Oh, ending 12. Real. Okay, so the good news is we have the scissors now, so we can go cut open the carcass, right? Wait, hold on. I just thought, can we also cut open this side wall? I mean, they're sharp, right? Or do I actually need, like, a knife? Part of the wall is sewn up. Ah, uh, hell yeah, we can go with the scissors. Oh, that's a lot more fleshy than I was expecting you to be. The entire elevator wall seems to be made up of pulsating mass of flesh. There is an old computer screen squeezed in amongst the lump. Something must be inserted for it to be booted up. Okay, well, I don't have whatever you need, and I feel like I still need a screwdriver, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. We can go just cut open the, um, pickaxes now, yes? That was on floor seven? Uh, but Virg, it's stuck. I can see that. It's honestly kind of hard to watch. It's not like you're offering any help. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, I dare you to force open the door. Could you help me force it open? With you, we might be strong enough. You're too weak? Not strong enough? Need the big man's help, huh? You can just say, Well, what am I if not helpful? Step aside, let me try. Your co-worker pulls at the door. I mean, what's going on, big guy? Can't get the doors open? The door doesn't seem to be budging. He might be crying. Do you need any- Sorry, pal. 
This thing's way too strong for anyone to get open. It's impossible. Guess someone will have to find a different way out. It's fine. Thanks for trying. Kind of. Oh, I feel bad. Now I need to we just murder him, but we've also made him cry now. Okay, so... Butcher was seven, right? Yeah, I can hear the buzzing already. Okay. Which one do we want to do first? Left or right? I say left. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Could open the carcass? Yes. You cut through the carcass by following the dotted line. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a bit... Rotty. What? Excuse me, what? What just happened? Seems like the floor was waiting to replace it with flesh meat. Ending seven butchered? What? I was just doing as you told me. Um, okay. Maybe try the one on the right? Okay, I've learned my lesson. Right is the way to go, yes? I swear to God, if this just makes me get eaten by the floor as well. Yes, follow the cutting lines. You cut through the carcass by following the dotted line. Oh. Well, at least I didn't die immediately. Hey, we got a screwdriver. You found a screwdriver placed inside the carcass amongst the organs. I shall take this, thank you. We can just wipe it up in his suit, right? You push your hand through the insides of the carcass. It makes a disgusting, squelching sound as its warm blood soaks the end of your suit. You took off the screwdriver. Okay, so we know where to use this. Uh, oh no, it's on the same wall as this, right? Event. It's screwed in tight. You can hear something scratching from the inside. And screw vent with the screwdriver? Yes. Have we done it? Oh, yeah, the support window. It's fine. We're nearly there. You pulled open the vent shaft. Okay, perfect. What the hell is around here? There's a rat scuttling about in the vent. It squeaks. Ah! Oh, what is that? How did they get here? Close the vent! Close the vent! Now, we need the rat, okay? It's alive. We need to feed it to the wall. You got the rat. You're touching it! Why are you holding it? Put that back! I mean... What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You're the one holding the disgusting thing with your bare hands. Do you realize how dangerous that thing is? I mean, it's kind of, uh, adorable. Ah! You're doing that on purpose! Yes, yes I am. But now we have got to go back to, um, floor two, right? Sadly, sorry that, but I'm gonna have to feed you to the wall. You understand, right? It must be done. Okay, so if my records are correct, we're only missing six endings now. So we've got over half of them, which is great. I mean, I've already been killed by the wall, so I don't need that to happen again. Okay, hole in the wall. Put the rat in. Yes. The rat starts trembling. It squirms as it desperately tries to escape your grip. Force the rat in. Rat, you're gonna love it inside. It's gonna eat you instantly. You put your hand in the hole and let the rat go. You can hear a low whisper coming from the hole. Reyes. Uh, uh, Reyes? Reyes what? Um, thank you, I think. Hey. Uh, so wait, what do we need to do? We still need... Floor 2 is de done now, right? Which one's floor 3? We'll just jump back up through the rooms and see if anything has changed. Okay, so floor 3 was... Oh, it's the mouth! Yeah, no problem. Still can't do anything with you then. Um... I don't know why back in this thing. So, floor 4... Was the door that didn't open, right? 
I mean, do I need the computer to open this door? I'm not too worried about it. But all we know, the answer's probably right behind our nose. Wait! Wait, we can spin around, right? Right behind our noses. Oh, god damn. Whoa, something up? You got all stiff and weird looking. Nothing, it's just... Was that door always there? Not that I can remember. No. Right. Miss beginning deja vu. Sorry. What's so familiar about it? Reminds me of my old place. Huh? Uh, the floors would speak loudly. Should we guess that one? Uh, probably your head playing tricks on you. Try not to get too distracted by any of it. Right, thanks. So wait, can we actually go inside here? Oh, we can! Crap! The floors creak wherever I go. I need to make this quick. Uh, so where we go? Under the bed? A box hidden under the bed. Open it. Yes, I dare us. You open the box. Oh, oh, there's monsters in the room, I think. Nothing but a useless drawing. You can hear a voice coming from downstairs. Sweetie, is that you? Are you awake? Um, no, I'm still sleeping. Some bedside drawers. Open them. You open the drawers. Nothing. What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be asleep. Just be quick. A window shut in tight. Try to open it. You try to open the window, but it doesn't budge. You better be sleeping when I get there. Bright light keeps the monsters away. A neatly made bed. Look under the sheets. Yes. You looked under the sheets. Oh, we found a sleeping pill. You can probably hide the sleeping pill in the cake. You combine the two. You now have drug cake. Oh, wait, so can I use that on the mouth? Like, feed it the drugged cake and then... Oh, that's just the box under the bed. I, I didn't mean to recheck that. Don't let them hear you. I mean, is there anything else I need to find here? I think I'm pretty good, right? Time to go? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else we can interact with. I wonder if I was supposed to die here. I mean, it doesn't seem like I can. You know what, if we can't find ending box, we're still missing that one. And I'm assuming like you can get an ending for each of the rooms. If we can't find it later, we'll come back and just take on everything until hopefully it triggers something. But for now, I feel like we're going to take the sleeping pill back to floor three. Okay, are we ready? Hi! I've, uh, I've got a pill for you. Yes, we can feel the warm breeze. Light it up. And now, drug it! I need the shiny thing. How, how do I drug it? My, what sharp teeth you have. I mean, do I need to do it from here? A sweet looking birthday cake, but drugged. You're noticing shiny sticking between the teeth. Pull it out. Uh, no. Uh, how do I... Can I not drug this thing? I mean, I thought that would be the solution. A giant mouth. Oh, there we go. Feed it the drugged cake. You threw the drugged cake in. Uh, are you drugged now? You hear a loud snore roaring out from inside the throat. The floor is now asleep. It should be safe to look around now. Okay, so now I can grab the shiny thing, right? And I will not get bitten in half this time. Oh, that's got to have been uncomfy to keep between your teeth. But the good news is we can now... Use the computer, right? That's the thing I needed for. 
The entire elevator wall seems made up of pulsating massive flesh. There is an old computer screen squeezed amongst the lump. Insert CD? Yes. You booted up the computer. Is it working? Input a five-digit passcode to gain access or capital. Oh, it was raised, right? Is it was what the wall said to me? Do you reckon I, I I can get murdered if I put it in wrong? Wait, we're gonna we're gonna put it in wrong just to see. Wait, actually I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. What do I do? Waz. In passcode. Oh, I was kind of hoping you were gonna murder me, but guess not. Okay, well at least I know the truth. You now have access to floor nine. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we can just head straight up there, right? Okay, so what I'm thinking then is that I had to trigger the ending for, for nine, uh, four, sorry, to get murdered in the room before I found the sleeping pill. Because I've noticed that you can't die to a room if you've technically cleared it. So because I already found the sleeping pill, it won't catch me. So we'll have to complete the game and then reset our progress and come back. So for now, we'll just go straight to floor nine. Hi, you seem friendly. Oh, good, you made it. I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, do we want to take a seat? I'm not entirely sure. You know what? Now take a seat. Oh, thank you! I was betrayed instantly! Screw you and your seat! The seat is a goddamn lie. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, hi! In hindsight, that was the only way that was gonna go. I mean, to be fair, looking at it now, it does seem that he's um, sitting on clouds. Oh good, you made it! I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. You know? I'm fine, guy, I'm uh, fine over here. Of course, wherever you feel best. It's nice finally getting to meet you. You're here for your first day, right? How are you? Uh, I mean, I, uh, I feel like crap. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you have any trouble getting here? Uh, I mean, your yeah, elevator is broken. Oh, we haven't had any issues with it before. Are you sure you were using it correctly? Did you touch everything you weren't supposed to? Um, yeah, I definitely did that, so I don't know. You don't know if you were using it correctly. Or you don't know if you were touching anything. Uh, um, well, if it was too difficult to understand, I'm sure someone will help you next time. I see you had a senior to help you with any questions you had. How was your time spent with your colleague? Uh, I mean, he was unhelpful, but better than being alone. Uh, he was a good resource or he's totally useless. I mean, he had the lighter, so it was better than being alone. So, it was a decent companionship, but indecent aid? One way of phrasing it, yeah. Well, you can get that from a bubblehead, can't you? If something's only productive because it's nice to be around, consider if it's worth the trouble of having. You consider bubbleheads? Decent companionship. Speaking of how easily you fared getting here. Are your lungs working all right? Um. I mean, they seem fine now. Great! Sorry about asking. I just hadn't seen it on your resume. It must not have crossed my mind. What is your greatest fear? 
having this job, it feels... What about anything that you've seen here? Could be that scary. A few things come to mind. I'm sure you'll get used to it eventually. Most everyone here does, anyway. How did you hear about this position? Well, I heard about it through the paper. And what about it drew you to it? What made you want this job? Being... Okay, a part of being bigger than myself, able to make a living wage, seen as capable or I don't know. Let's face it, the money. Oh, but work here is so much more than just another step to your paycheck. But why? Hmm? Why is it more than just getting paid? Can't I just clock in for work, do what's asked of me? Get my paycheck and live more personally on my own time? I don't think he liked that answer. D did I say something? What would you consider your biggest weaknesses? Huh? My personality and decides no point and click escape rooms? I don't think I'm that bad at point and click escape rooms. Potentially. I'll see my personality. Yeah, I can see that. I'm sorry. You're forgiven. But it is something I'd work on in your case. I'll keep that in mind. Last but not least, why should we hire you? Um, I have a functional left kidney. Wow, it was a pleasure meeting you. Did you have any questions on your end? Well, thanks again for making it. I've got another meeting soon, so we'll have to discuss further inquiries later. Oh, but one more thing. He reaches to shake your hand. Wait, am I actually hired? Oh, no I'm not. I see a lot of areas for growth from you. I'm afraid in order for you to work here, we'll have to make some changes. Here, let me lend you a hand. Oh, damn! Wait, did you just pull out my eyeballs? I told you my biggest fear was working here. Well, I suppose I've been hired. Okay, so clearly we failed our questionnaire. So let's try it again and actually pick the positive sounding answers this time. So we're doing fine. Glad to hear it. Did you find your way all right? Any hiccups? Um, you know, I had no trouble. Thank heaven for that. I've heard some of the new employees get lost easily. I'm glad you're competent to have at least gotten here on time. Right. I see you had a senior to help with any questions you had. How was your time spent with your colleague? Okay, so it was definitely a bad thing, right, to say he was essentially good decoration, so we've got to avoid that. Um... So either he was helpful, or he was a good resource. Um, I mean, saying he was helpful also said he was good to be around, and that seems a lot the social part as well, which is probably not what he wants to hear. Let's say he was just a good resource. Oh, that's good. It's always nice when the tools you have work how they're supposed to. Okay, so we know his mindset then. He sees all his employees as simply just tools at his disposal. So we don't want anything to sound socially positive, right? What? What? Speaking of how easy you fared getting here, are your lungs working all right? Yeah, they're, they seem fine. I mean, they were only poisoned slightly. Great. Sorry about asking. I just hadn't seen it on your resume. It must not have crossed my mind. What is your greatest fear? Um... Okay, so heights, that's definitely personal. Being replaced... Again, that speaks more to the individual than the company. So I feel like the best option here is failing this interview. Oh, <laughs> am I intimidating you? You're not not intimidating me. I assumed you were doing it on purpose. I get that a lot. 
That's nothing to worry about, though. Fear of failure is what keeps the most successful people going strong. How did you hear about this position? Well, I heard about it through the paper. And what about it drew you to it? What makes you want this job? Hmm. Being. So I feel like a part of saying bigger than myself is probably a good way to go since it's saying basically we want to be a cog in his machine. Um, is either that or seen as capable? Uh, I'm gonna pick one. It feels more pushing towards his image. How so? Oh. Oh, and it's definitely got to be to feel important. Right, as a company. I'm sure you'll get all the thrill out of battering a larger unit as us current employees have. Thrill was one word for it. What would you consider your biggest weaknesses? Uh, okay, so personality was not the way to go. Point and click escape rooms. <laughs> it doesn't... I mean, that one's the joke answer, so it, it might be the correct one. But maybe, like, me being indecisive about this answer is actually the true answer then. Is it indecisiveness? Oh, we're gonna pick two. That's nothing to worry about. Our policies here are pretty forgiving if you end up saying the wrong thing or have a hard time making a decision. Consequences to previous mistakes are always something that you can learn from as proven by this game. Just remember, You'll always have the chance to make a different choice. If you have more questions, we can loop back around to the topic later. That's fine. I think I'm getting the point. Last but not least, why should we hire you? I feel like this one was correct, simply because it was the answer they put onto their application form, right? So I feel like it should be the functional left kidney. <laughs> I will die with the functional left kidney, thank you very much. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Did you have any questions on your end? Well, thanks again for making it. Did I get it right this time? I've got another meeting soon, so we'll have to discuss further inquiries later. Oh, it's already changed. I think I did it. Oh, but one more thing. He reaches to shake your hand. Wait, is it actually gonna be a shake this time? Oh, it is. Welcome aboard the team. You received a key. Consider this as a welcome gift. Hopefully, we'll talk again soon. Wait, so that's the lobby key, right? Alright, this is my stop. Huh? What? Did you forget that easily? I got a meeting up on the top floor. This is where I get off. Ah, right. Wait, I almost forgot. I need to give your lighter back. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can give it back when we go for break, yeah? Y yeah, I'll see you then. The co-worker stepped off the elevator. In the blink of an eye, he's gone. You can't see him anymore. You're alone on the elevator now. A keyhole with the word lobby written above it. Put the key in? Yes. You use the key. You now have access to the first floor. Oh. I think I just got a job. You hurriedly get off the elevator. So, um, how long have I been gone? I seem traumatized. Hey, watch where you're going. What's the hurry? What, are you leaving? But you just got here. You passed your interview. What reason do you have to be upset? You did what you came here to do. Didn't you do good enough? Why would you want to just leave after all that? What did you expect? Do you realize how many people would kill? To be in your position? 
You haven't even worked one day and you're already throwing it away? Are you going to quit that easily? You've barely even done anything. How do you expect to live on your own out there if you can't even do this simple task? Why are you giving up all the work you've done to get here? Don't you need this job? You need this job. You need this job. You need this job. I... I need this job. Please, watch where you're going in the future. Oh! That's so much for an emergency exit. At least we escaped, though. Okay, so we haven't done too bad. We're just missing three endings, then. Providing, of course, 3A and 3B does count as separate endings, which I'm assuming they do. So we got 4, 11, and 14. So I think 4 is definitely getting caught in room 4. But for that, I, we need to do it before we find the sleeping pill, I believe. I'm not sure about 11 and 14, though, so it's worth looking around. Oh, dead work! Yeah, we got caught by our parents. There's our ending for... Yeah, apparently, I was only missing one more movement, and then I would have got it in the first playthrough. Just needed to move around four times without finding that sleeping pill. You know, I just came back, so I could actually see all my posters together. Uh, but yeah, no, I just realised I had to delete the entire save file, didn't I, to actually be able to get this one. <laughs> oh no, I need to go click them all then to actually see them all together. Oh man. Okay, at least I can click the lighter while I'm here then, right? So, no smoke inside? It's fine. I, uh, I need your light, please. Um, can I have a lighter? Can I have a light? Sorry, pal. I've only got the one tab and uh, I'm not sharing it. Come on, I need it. I'm not splitting my cigarette with you. Wait, why is this different? Oh, I haven't picked up the other cigarette yet. No matter how nicely you ask, newbie. No, not your cigarette, your... Uh, this is going nowhere. Wait, wait, I can steal the lighter. Oh, do you know what? Why not? This ain't gonna end badly at all. Oh, hey! The hell do you think you're doing? I already told you, this thing isn't cheap. I'm trying to do something useful, so we can get out. If you actually cared to help, you'd have just handed me that for the start. Oh, I didn't realize this elevator was so flammable. Do you think sharing everything I owned? Got me to the position of being able to afford this? Lay off and find something else! Oh, use what I have, however I... Oops. I... And this... Is why there's no smoking in the elevator. Okay, so that only means we need ending 14, right? Oh, there it is! Okay, so I was really struggling to actually get this 14 in ending to ch trigger. Apparently. So I was checking out which ones I was missing. I was missing this one here. Because technically this one is for the eaten one. But apparently I was supposed to try and feed it rather than pull out the disc. So it didn't actually trigger the poster. But it's fine. It's fine. We have it now. And we've just triggered the 14th ending. So. We've uh, found ourselves in yeah. Fire escape. I mean, looks very nice, very pretty. Time to leave then. Oh, the good news is we've finally found some emergency stairs. Wait, the sounds it though. We were very, very high up. So, um, funny thing about ending 14. It locks the game. Like, this is quite literally all that the game would do now until you 
I think delete the save progress and then you can restart again. Which um, is kind of sad, because if you think about it, that implies for the characters that by Trooper and Ending 14, they're essentially stuck in an endless loop of staircases. So they're essentially now in SCP, what is it, 084? So this is arguably one of the worst apps because it's not even a quick one. But the good news is, we have all our endings. And I had a good time here, and I hope you did too. If you did, please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.